and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be unboxing a brand new box to this channel and that box is the Ricky's Cult Crushes box and I was very excited to sign up for this. I saw the February spoilers and so I signed up. Unfortunately I was too late for the February box. I signed up a couple hours after it sold out and I didn't know that it had sold out and so this is the March box so finally I'm caught up on my boxes and I'm starting with March here for you guys and I'm really excited to show you guys what came in this box. And so if you're interested to see what came in this box, you are in the right place, just keep on watching. But before you do, if you haven't already, please make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and make sure you hit the notification bell next to it so that you can get a notification every time I post a new video and you can come hang out with me. I would really, really appreciate it. But without further ado, we're gonna jump right into the video. We have our Ricky's Cult Crushes box and I'm really excited to unbox this with you guys today. So opening up the box, I see this lovely young lady right here and her YouTube name is Too Much Mouth and I am really a big fan of her channel. The first time I ever saw her channel was a channel when, I mean was a video when she did an unboxing of all like 20 or 30 I think subscription boxes in one video. That's how I found her channel but I do watch all of her videos. I'm subscribed with my notification bell on. So if you haven't already checked her out, please make sure you go do that. Again, her name on YouTube is Too Much Mouth, but she did curate this box for us. And so I'm going to start out by saying the first thing that came in the box was the LA Girl Pro Prep Primer. LA Girl Pro Prep Primer. And unfortunately, I don't know where it is. My baby got a hold of it and ran off with it, and so I can't find it. But, I, but I'm sure you guys have seen it in the drugstore. It's just from LA Girl, and it's in a white container, and it's a silicone-based primer. It feels a lot like the Smashbox primer, and it's pore-filling, and it's great. Actually, you know what? It kind of feels like a mix between the Smashbox primer and the professional primer and so I've been using it so I had it outside of my box and I don't know what she did with it when she picked it up but I really need to find it because I really do like it. Um, the card here um, does not give retail prices on things but I will read you what it says about each product. It says LA Girl Pro Prep Primer. Make your makeup last forever with this smoothing face primer. It provides the perfect surface for foundation and nourishes skin with vitamin E for a flawless finish on or off camera. So that's pretty cool. I really liked it. Next up in the box I see here is this Ricky's Care Sponge. And it is just like a beauty blender. Or it looks like a beauty blender, should I say. I'm going to open it up. And it is pretty hard. I mean, it's not the hardest kind of beauty blender dupe that I've felt before. But I'm going to go and wet it so I can let you guys know what it looks like when it's wet and what it feels like. Okay, so I did go and wet it and it just about doubled in size. It is pretty soft. And this is it next to a real beauty blender. This is the pro version. And if I squeeze them at the same time, it feels almost the same. It's not quite as soft as the beauty blender, but it's, it's the closest I've ever felt actually. So I will definitely be giving this guy a try and I'll let you guys know on my Snapchat whether or not I like it or not. And if you haven't already followed me on my Snapchat, please do. It is Renee Marcy. And if you don't know how to spell that, it's listed down below in the description box. It says, Ricky Care Classic 3D Blender. Did you know you could replace your beauty blender? Did you know you should replace your beauty blender every three months with this brand new one? Touch up your foundation anytime, anywhere. Use the rounded edge for blotting makeup and the pointed end for tight, hard to reach places. Next up in the box is this eyeliner right here, and it is from Palladio Liquid Eyeliner, and it's black. Let's see, it's just a felt tip liner here. And I will swatch it for you guys. I just need to wipe off my swatches from when I was filming while I go, give me one second. Found another use for my Rose Facial Cleansing Wipes. These are rose and caramel. These are my favorite wipes ever. I did get them from Octoly and they are the brand Morgan Miller. And I use these to take off my makeup at night. I use them to wipe off my swatches. I use them for pretty much everything. They are amazing. If you've never tried them before, I definitely recommend you do. I will leave a link down in the description box for you guys can order some if you'd like. They are pretty cheap. 
They come with 60 pre-moistened wipes, and I think they're like $9 or something like that. They're pretty cheap. Okay, so I have my swatches wiped off. Ooh, I can't get it back open now. There we go. And we'll just do it up here so we don't take up too much room. But as you can see, it's a very pigmented line. And it does dry down matte. I actually used this on my eyes yesterday whenever I did an eye look. And the card here says, Palladio Liquid Eyeliner. One swipe is all you need to add dramatic definition to your eyes. With a smear-proof formula and a felt tip applicator, drawing thin or thick lines is a cinch. The long-lasting black color stays on so you can stay out too. I like the little bottle. It's cute. And I'll show it to you guys once it gets dry so you can see it. Next up in the box is from House of Lashes. And I was really excited to see these because I've always wanted to try their lashes. I think it is a beautiful pair. It is in the style Temptress. I'm terrible at putting on false lashes, but I'm definitely going to try these out. It says, House of Lashes Temptress. Put a spin on wispy lashes with this voluminous and lengthy pair. They can be styled, cut, and altered any way you like. And when subtly curled, you'll take everyone's breath away. Add mascara for an even bolder look. And last up in the box is the most exciting product of all. Of course, I had to leave that to last. When I opened this box, I could not believe what was in this box. And that is the Meat Matrimony Palette from The Balm. This is a full-size Balm palette. This Ricky's Cult Crushes membership is only $11 a month. $11 a month and we got a full-size bomb palette like that is so crazy to me like I always thought that BoxyCharm would be the best subscription forever but I mean they gave us a full size of bomb palette I'm used to getting these tiny tiny little little bomb samples in my ipsy that you can barely even see and I got a full size one so I'm very excited about this and I don't have this palette yet and it is warm tone so it's right up my alley so it really really excited me Kind of glad that it skipped the February and did give me March because I'm super excited to try this. This says the Balm Meet Matrimony, Meet Matt Trimony, I think. Featuring nine versatile shades, these matte eyeshadow colors are suitable for any occasion. With a velvety smooth texture, triple milled formula, and true to pan payoff, your look will live on from business casual to nighttime chic. And this is what the actual palette looks like and the back here and this is what it looks like on the inside and I do believe that there's still time to get this box I'll try to link down below in the description box I don't have an affiliate link or anything for them but I will leave the link to the website and another really cool thing about this company I'll tell you while I am swatching some of these for you guys but another really cool thing about this box is that if you subscribe to their box, then you get 25% off of anything on their website also. And they have tons of stuff from tons of well-known makeup brands on their website. So that's pretty cool. Wait, what, what color was that? That did not swatch very well. Oh, I swatched it on top of the other one. <laughs> that's why I swatched it on top of this tan one. But I went on their website and I found so many things that I wanted and it was really awesome to be able to get 25% off of it all just because I'm a member of the box. As you can see, those swatch pretty well and I can't wait to give this palette a try. And that is all I have for you guys in this box. If you'd like to see an eyeshadow look with the Meet Matte Tremoni palette, um, please let me know down in the description box if you get this subscription also let me know what you got in your box I think everyone gets the same but I'm not entirely sure so let me know what you think about the palette and everything else in the box but that's all I have for you guys in this video I hope you guys had an excellent day and I'll see you guys next time if you haven't already please make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and make sure you hit the notification bell right next door to it so you get a notification bell so you get a notification every time I post a new video and you can come hang out with me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Mwah.